Hi everyone, this is Steve for the Skywatch Media News Channel, and here's what's happening for the first week of October 2018. For some time, the topic of Planet X and its elusive presence in space has taken a back burner to more urgent and immediate concerns that are presently affecting many nations and peoples of the world. But now it looks like Planet X is once again making headlines, and this time in a very important and significant manner. Its existence, which was previously considered as a theory, is now considered as very plausible. Astronomers have announced that a newly discovered space rock named the Goblin is providing definitive clues about the existence of Planet X. The object, dubbed 2015 TG387, is likely a dwarf planet with a diameter of nearly 200 miles, making it about as wide as the state of Massachusetts is long. It was found roughly 80 astronomical units from the Sun, or approximately 8 billion miles distance. Planet X has always been considered as an object of interest, described by NASA as a very large rogue-like planet that crosses the Sun in a highly elongated orbit beyond Pluto. The planet is said to have a mass 10 times that of Earth, with an orbit 20 times farther from the Sun. NASA has also indicated that the elusive planet is not yet visible by telescope. Therefore, until that time, its influence on other heavenly bodies must be measured by analytical means. According to the Carnegie Institution for Science, the distant space rock known as the Goblin could provide clues that will lead astronomers to the location of Planet X. Scientists expect that there is a trail that will lead to Planet X, and the discovery of large space rocks such as the Goblin will help them to further understand the outer solar system and the object that they believe is perturbing the orbits of planetary bodies. In other words, the legendary Planet X. Such discoveries could redefine our knowledge of the solar system's evolution. What we know and what is yet to be discovered is something that will greatly impact our present knowledge of the solar system and its orbiting bodies. The newfound discovery was introduced on October 2nd by the International Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center. A full report has been submitted to the Astronomical Journal. What makes this discovery so interesting is that Planet X is most likely affecting the newly discovered space rock in the same manner as all of the other distant solar system objects. This all provides further evidence that something is out there so stay tuned, because there is sure to be much more news about this in the very near future. Two newly discovered asteroids flew past our planet within one lunar distance last month, the first on September 15th and the latter on September 25th. Asteroid 2018 SM was first observed at Catalina Sky Survey on September 16th one day after it made its close approach to the Earth. This object belongs to the Apollo group of asteroids and has an estimated diameter approaching 25 feet. It flew past the Earth at a speed of 25,000 miles per hour on the evening of September 15th at a lunar distance of 0.11, or 26,000 miles from the Earth. Asteroid 2018 SD2 was first observed on September 21st from Hawaii, four days before its close approach. This object belongs to the Etten group of asteroids and has an estimated diameter approaching 36 feet. It made its close approach to our planet at a speed of 9,000 miles per hour on September 25th, at a lunar distance of 0.23, or 55,000 miles from the Earth. Asteroid SD2 
was the 51st known asteroid to fly past the Earth within one lunar distance since the beginning of 2018. And it is the 11th flyby for the month of September, becoming the busiest month for flybys so far this year. On the very same day that asteroid SD2 was making a close approach to Earth, a massive fireball exploded over Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean off the east coast of Africa. The extremely bright fireball was detected by NASA sensors with a calculated impact energy of nearly 2 kilotons. The cosmic explosion has become the third most energetic meteor event of 2018. The two more energetic events occurred over Russia on June 21st and over Greenland on July 25th, which sparked a great deal of controversy because the explosion that took place in Greenland took place over a military air base and installation that tracks incoming objects. Cosmic events of this intensity are not new to this part of the world. In September of 2017, a huge fireball rattled homes on Reunion and nearby islands, raising questions about the possibility that this area is located just outside of the inner zone of the so-called South Atlantic Anomaly, itself being considered as ground zero for a magnetic field reversal. This could then explain the attraction of incoming space rocks and the events that have occurred in this region. If nothing else, it is certainly enigmatic, and it will be interesting to see if this pattern continues in this area. The humanitarian situation on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi has worsened following the deadly 7.5 magnitude earthquake and the subsequent tsunami, as the number of casualties continues to rise, now approaching 1,400. On the morning of October 3rd, the volcano Mount Supatan, located in northern Sulawesi, erupted, producing an ash column of 22,000 feet above sea level. Additionally, the number of seismic events at the volcano has increased since late August. The eruption and the ash ejection is continuing, with the ash cloud moving to the northwest. The observatory has raised the aviation color code to red alert. The Center for Volcanology and Geological Hazard Mitigation has advised residents to prepare face masks, which are now being distributed by the agency. Residents must also be prepared for the possibility of lava flows that can occur during the eruption. The Supatan volcano is very active and it is very dangerous. The summit has an explosivity index of 3, with the last eruption occurring in January of 2016. The tsunami in Indonesia that was as high as 20 feet in some locations in and near Palu was another in a series of devastating disasters in 2018. These images 
provide the viewer a bird's eye view of destruction wrought in the wake of the Sulawesi earthquake and tsunami that took place on the morning of September 28th. As you ponder the power of nature and how insecure we are in its grasp, do not succumb to its sorrow and darkness, for there is a time and a place for all things as taught by our spiritual forefathers. As difficult as the times may seem, make an effort to keep your mind as clear and as bright as the vastness of the sky and fill yourself with the power of its wisdom and its enlightenment, for as long as your journey shall last. Thanks for watching.